Welcome back. Today we're going to use resin to make a Swiss cheese cutting board. Here is a list of all the materials you will need for this project. You can find a list in the description as well, or you can take a screenshot of this image. For step one, we're going to prep our cutting board. The materials we will need are cutting board, wax paper, painter's tape, and scissors. To start, apply your painter's tape to the back of your cheese cutting board. Be sure to apply the tape to all areas where you do not want resin. Firmly press the painter's tape onto the wood so no resin is able to seep underneath it. After applying your painter's tape to the back of your cutting board, put the painter's tape around the edges. How far you put your tape up onto the sides of the board is really up to you, but if you leave it further down, you'll get more of a drippy cheese look on the sides. Next, we will apply painter's tape to the front side of the board. It's up to you where you want the line to start. If you want your resin to go a bit further down the board, you can start it lower or you can start it around the same place I did. As you can see, I wrapped the painter's tape around the front and the back side of the board here. You won't be able to wrap your board all the way to the bottom because the cheese cutter is in the way. But just be very careful once you pour your resin that you don't get any resin where you don't want it. Next, we're going to make our tape circles using wax paper. Cut a fresh piece of wax paper and lay down a few stripes of painter's tape. Make sure you are sticking your painter's tape to the shiny side of the wax paper. Using your scissors, cut out your circles. You should cut circles in different sizes because these will be used to form the holes in our Swiss cheese. Just a side note, I didn't have any wax paper available, so I used the back side of some contact paper that I had used for another project, and this worked just fine. But I still think wax paper is your best bet for this technique. As you can see here, I peeled the painter's tape off of my contact paper backing and placed the circle where I want it on my cheese cutting board. Where you place the circles is completely up to you. Let's watch as I finish placing the circles on my board. I'll speed this section up so you guys don't get too bored. After you have placed all your tape circles, you want to make tabs out of your painter's tape. To do this, you're going to cut a piece of tape about an inch long and fold it in half like so. You want to place each of these tabs on its own circle, so all circles have a tab. This is going to make it a lot easier when we're trying to remove those circles after we've placed the resin on the board. Here you see that I cut one of the tabs in half. 
so it'll fit on the littler circle. Depending on the size of your tape, you may have to do this as well. Let's watch as I finish placing the tabs on my circles. Great job finishing the prep for your board. Now we can move on to step two. For step two, we will apply our base paint to our board. The materials you will need are white or yellow acrylic paint and a paintbrush. Pour the paint directly on your cutting board and use a paintbrush to spread it out around the painter's tape circles. Depending on the thickness of your paint, you may need to do a few coats. The goal is to make sure the paint covers the wood entirely, so none of the brown peeks through. Let your piece dry completely. Here, I have sped up the drying process a little bit by using my heat gun. You will see that I add some white paint on top of the yellow. This is just to add some depth underneath the resin, but it's totally not necessary. Just make sure your paint is totally dry before moving on to the next step. In step three, you will mix and apply your resin. The materials you will need are epoxy resin, plastic cups, acrylic paint, and popsicle sticks. Using an acrylic paint that looks like the color of Swiss cheese, put a dime size amount in a plastic cup. Mix your epoxy resin according to the instructions on the bottle. Once mixed, add your color medium into your resin and stir well with a popsicle stick. Next, pour your colored epoxy resin over the painted area of your cutting board. You don't have to be too careful to avoid the tabs, but be aware that they're there and try and keep them as uncovered as possible. The important part is to cover all the parts that are painted and not covered with tape. After applying your epoxy, use a torch lighter or a heat gun to pop any air bubbles that have formed in your resin. Now, let your epoxy start to cure. Step four, let your epoxy dry and remove the tape. The only material you need for this step is a razor blade. Importantly, you do not want your epoxy resin to cure completely. For example, if your epoxy takes eight hours to cure, wait about four hours. As you will see, you want your resin to still be soft, but not drippy or sticky. Carefully, use a razor blade to pull the tabs up from underneath your resin. This is the tedious part of the process because you don't want to pull off too much of the resin or you will not be able to fix it. So take your time and make sure your circles are staying round. As you can see here, once I've identified where my circle of tape is, I use my razor blade to carve the edge of the circle. This helps lift the resin that's over the tape and take it off the board. Don't be alarmed if you see some of your acrylic paint peeking through after peeling off your tape circles. We are gonna fix this in the next step. So here's a good example of the acrylic paint coming through. You can see I've cut the circle a bit too big, bigger than the painter's tape circle. So now the acrylic paint is showing through. Here I am just cleaning up the circles the best I can and making sure they are all smooth on the edges. After you've cleaned up the circles to your liking, you could use something like a nail polish remover or acetone or even a turpentine to get the excess acrylic paint off of your board.
once you are satisfied with the way your product looks, let the resin cure completely.